What's up? Back with another video. This your boy CJ Goodfella. And you know, here to talk about Andre Ward, man. Dude that says everything right. And does a lot of things right. You know, different type of a, uh, of, uh, you know, mainstream fighter than Floyd Mayweather. You know, a lot of people hate Floyd Mayweather because he wears the black hat to sell fights because he's not the most exciting fighter walking the face of the earth. He uses his mouth to market itself. And you know, a lot of it brought a lot of backlash on his career. But it doesn't matter what these African American fighters do. I'm gonna tell you why. You have Andre Ward, a guy who's great, apparently outside of the ring, to the naked eye, a good family, Christian fair man, um, a dude that doesn't brag or boast, that, that just goes about his business. You know what I mean? Only thing he did wrong was re up with a promoter in Goosen and wanted out of the contract because it wasn't fair. So he took a few years off or just spot fighting here and there. And you know, people say, oh, he's living off the Super Six. Or what has he done lately? But for those people that continuously say that, always bringing up other people's amateur records. Oh, he was this in amateurs. He had this many fights. He fought this guy in the amateurs. For example, like a guy like Gennady Golovkin, what has he done in the pros? People rave about Golovkin, but he hasn't done 1% of what Andre Ward done, done in the pros. But Andre Ward gets shitted on. Andre Ward entered a, a Super 6 tournament with a lot of proven commodities and beat them all when he was unproven and took a leap of faith that a lot of boxers don't take these days and defeated the odds. But people still shit on Andre Ward. And Americans never back, especially African Americans, because there's not a lot of white American fighters that fight anymore. So they gravitate to the Europeans with the, they think with the flash in the pan, build them up, and you know what? The fucking African Americans knock them right back down half the time. You know what I mean? And it's, it's not about that. In the UK, boxing fans are the real, true MVPs out there. They recognize real talent. And they back our fighters more than we back our own fighters. And it's, it's not right. Andre Ward is a superb talent. I'm not telling you you got to go for Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev. Pick Kovalev. And when Ward, or if Ward, picks his ass apart, uh, then you're going to detract and say, oh, Kovalev wasn't that great. Because people point to Darnell Boom knocking down Andre Ward. And the fight, not knowing that Andre Ward was coming about from 178 pounds from the Olympics, squeezing down to 160 pounds, fighting Darnell Boone that really weakened him down. You know what I mean? But hopefully that fought Darnell Boone at a full 175 pounds that he's still fighting today and got knocked down arguably multiple times that the ref didn't count the last time and arguably lost that fight. And Kovalev would tell you himself he think he really lost that fight. But nobody talks about that. They gloss over this and hate on Andre Ward for no reason. Only bad thing he did was a bad business decision with Goose, and the people jumped all over him for it. Inside with Jay Z, the only th bad thing I think it was a sign of a Rock Nation of being hampered, not being able to fight the um, Al Hammond guys, because Jay Z and Al Hammond have a long feud over a music tour and Beyonce tour a long time ago. But this your boy CJ Goodfellow. We gone.